Ooh, can you move a little bit to your left so it covers the numbers so I don't have to do it? Uh, I'm back. Um, I know I haven't used the camera in a while. I haven't been vlogging. And yesterday, yesterday we got up, we packed up. I was exhausted, so um, I only got a few shots. But that's what this weekend was about. It was just catching up on stuff. And look at, I have an iPhone 5C. Uh, I know I usually turn off my phone when I'm at Somerset, but the second day we needed to find another campsite. And as soon as I turned it back on, it started saying searching, and I could not get it to connect back to the carrier. Um, it looks like the iPhone was busted, or not busted, but it was just a bad model, which is interesting because I just got it. So as soon as I got back to Cedar Falls, I rushed over to Verizon. They swapped SIM cards out. They couldn't figure it out. I went back over to iTech, and he ordered me a new one. It got in today, but the problem is I'm in Cedar Rapids now, and I'm going to go to Iowa City here. So since it got in today, I think he's going to send it with the manager who's going to meet me in Colorado in a couple days, and I've got this loner for a bit, so... It all worked out. Um, I'm still on this, like... This this entire weekend was great for reflecting, and I spent time in nature, and listened to great music, and spent time with great people, and I'm, I'm coming down from this, like... euphoric... experience, I don't know. It, it was just great not having to deal with this, and even now I just... I'm, I'm assuming it'll fade away, like, every year, but... Right now, I just have no interest on being on this and want to spend time face to face with people. And I'm going to ride this out because it feels great and it, it, there's only a few times you can step away from the screens, it feels like. And I'm going to take advantage of that. I have a crazy drive to get back to work and start doing the things I want to do, but it doesn't need to involve talking on this constantly. I'm going to leave my stuff here, find out where my dad's at, hopefully run down to Iowa City and say hi to those guys, come back up dinner with the family, and then hopefully get to bed early and take off Wednesday morning. I'm pretty tired. I had half a five hour energy, but it's not really doing anything. <laughs> Started packing up everything. wasn't as bad as I thought. We keep we we do a good job of keeping a good campsite so that we don't have to clean up so much at the end. Got back into Cedar Falls at a good time, and I think it came around five o'clock and I was like, okay, well, originally my plan was to go to Iowa City tonight and knock that out. But but honestly, I potentially could be back in Iowa City in October, and you know, friends are great and I'd love to see them. But my grandparents. Or only that was probably the last time I got to see them. And with them getting old age, you know, we all don't like to think about it, but they travel so much. It's, I mean, my grandpa's like 89. He's bordering 90, and they're traveling constantly around the world. It scares me. I wish they would see him in one spot, but I understand what he's doing, and I respect it. But I decided, what's a, you know, I could spend a few more hours with my grandparents, and that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to see them and enjoy some more time before I had to leave. So I called my mom, I said I was going to be late, and then I got down here and spent some time talking to my mom, and then got, some, got to bed. Well, I tried to get to bed early, but it uh, didn't work. So I think right now I'm going to try to jet to Iowa City, say hi for like an hour, come back up and spend time with my dad. We were going to hang out originally all day, but he had to work, so it's totally understandable, and I can knock this out now. Oh, I'm probably wearing the wrong kind of clothes. It looks like it's 80 degrees, but... So I'm actually, uh, well, went down to the restaurant, see, I had my dad, um, grabbed some lunch, and I do have some time, so I'm almost down to Iowa City now. I'm gonna say hi to some friends here for a little bit, then jet back up and have dinner with my mom at the restaurant, so, oh, there goes my phone. It's been a pretty good day so far. I'm still really tired, but, yeah.
Iowa City. There will always be a special place in my heart for Iowa City, even though I didn't come to school here. Great to see Nick, great to see some of the brother staff. I'm actually gonna go pick up my roommate now. I'm gonna go visit John, and actually, sorry, it's really loud, one second. Oh, they put this apartment complex up. That looks nice. Um, I was originally just going to stop by my friend John's house and catch up just for a little bit longer I'm in town, but actually, um, my roommate is down here too, so I am going to pick him up and we're gonna to run together. I'm gonna to drop him off at his dad's place in Cedar Rapids. That way he can see them and spend some time and I'm gonna go back to Cedar Rapids and eat dinner with my mom and spend some time with them one last time so that both of us can leave bright and early in the morning. My phone did come in, actually. This morning, the guy, my friend at iTech, texted me and said the phone came in, which is crazy. He put that he put that order in at like 5.30 p.m. So Apple sends its stuff quick. Good job, Apple. Obviously, I can't really drive back up there right now, so hopefully he will send that with the manager who is supposed to be coming to Colorado this leaving tomorrow. Thank you for showing us your house. It was great.